Firstly, I want to apologize about the click baity thumbnail, but you know, don't hate the play, I hate the game. This one has a camera on the top. This is the best camera I've ever owned. So I just got this camera yesterday, uh, and this is the best camera I've ever owned, but I think I need to get a tripod, and I don't have one, and I'll tell you why shortly, but... On first impression, uh, it's not shit, but it's not good. Here it is. The world's best camera. Well, if this thing's bright, it will actually be awesome. It's tiny. You got me? Oh, it works. That's cool. All right, so why am I making this video? Um, for around a decade, I got to travel the world. Well, not really the world. I got to travel a whole bunch of places, mostly America and Europe, uh, and be a videographer and a photographer. Take photos and videos that I wanted to take. Tell stories that I wanted to tell. Make music videos with bands I wanted to work with. I owned all of my equipment. If something was cool and I wanted to tell the story, I just made it. I was just in this flow of being comfortable with my camera and comfortable with myself to just make the thing. It was awesome. Any opportunity that came up that I thought was cool, I would jump on it. Uh, I got an opportunity to travel with a band, to tour with a band for a couple of years, live on their tour bus. After one specific tour with this band I was traveling with, I had an inbox with a few uh, job offers, like genuine job offers. Those job offers ultimately led me down a path where I applied for a job for an influencer, what was essentially an influencer. I worked there for about two years. Over the next two years, my passion for videography and cameras and photography was just killed. It was destroyed. Um, through no fault of me or the influencer themselves, it's just, that's just that world is you film the same thing over and over again with the same people and it's, their ideas. The main goal isn't to make something cool and earnest and uh, arty and like something that you're passionate about and willing to show your friends and family. The main goal is to get views, you know, get views and likes and convert clicks to your website and convert clicks into sales. And, and, uh, and it was just this, I mean, it wasn't awful. I still had a lot of creative freedom. I got to build a team of awesome creative people and we got to make silly commercials, uh, genuine commercials, content that was outrageous. Uh, yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Um, and then it wasn't, but that's a whole different story. I will say as fun as it was, I, the reason I look back at it negatively now is I was never proud to put my name on these things. You know, the, these, these videos that we posted on Instagram were never something that I was like, Hank Ford made this. I was never something that I would ever send my parents or send my friends. I was somewhat embarrassed to be in charge of making these things because I thought I was an artist. <laughs> you know, I thought I was a filmmaker. I grew up in the generation of filmmakers that uh, existed when YouTube first started, when people weren't, when influencer wasn't a thing and it was all about just the passion for making videos and telling stories. I should have seen the writing on the wall when you spend like 40 hours editing a 30 second commercial. And then when it comes time to releasing it, not wanting to put my own name on it. That was, that was the writing on the wall. I didn't, I didn't want to be that. I didn't want to be associated with that thing. Over the two years of working there, I actually sold every single piece of camera equipment I owned personally to that company. Um, so they owned all of my equipment, so when I left, I had nothing. So for the last two years, I've had, other than my iPhone, no digital cameras. I'm still into film photography. I still do that. It's now been two years since, it's now been two years since I left, and I, for some reason, the last couple of weeks, got excited to make videos again. So I'm gonna make some fucking videos. So there was this guy, when I first started getting into the camera world, he's, I haven't checked in on him in years, but named Chase Jarvis. He was, at the time, the best commercial photographer in the world. He had a book called, um, it was, The Best Camera You Have, no, The Best Camera Is The One You Have With You. 
and it was great. It was just, it was iPhone photography from 10 years ago, so it was a garbage camera, but he could take these amazing photos just because he had it with him. I agree, I 100% agree, I 99% agree with Chase Jarvis that the best camera is the one you have with you. Obviously, you could have a better camera with you with better stats and more megapixels and whatever, but best camera is the one that you have with you, and I'm gonna add that you want to use. Uh, because this camera sucks. It's got a fix, fixed zoom lens that can zoom from here to here. It has one control wheel, so if you want to do anything, you want to change your ISO, your aperture, your shutter speed, you have to go through menus and change them. Another thing, there seems to be like some kind of rattle inside the camera. Can you hear that? I went out and took a hundred photos last night, and by the time I was home, it was dead. Uh, this is toast. I mean, the battery is absolutely tiny, so I get it. We just got toasted gold chain from a gas station. Uh, yeah, this camera sucks, but it's small and it's uh, familiar. It's Sony platform, so it's familiar to me. So um, I feel comfortable using it. So the best camera in the world is not the Sony ZV-1, or whatever it is, with the Walmart influencer package. The best camera in the world is the one that you have with you and you are willing to use, but that's also not true. It's just that my, for me, the best camera in the world, that's, it's not true for you. Probably the best camera in the world for you is a red, uh, red unicorn. They probably make something called a unicorn now. The red basalt unicorn. And it costs a million dollars and it has 300 bit video. It does full color, but it doesn't really matter. That doesn't matter. What matters is doing the thing and making the thing and releasing the thing. I don't care about views. If this thing gets 20 views and it's all me checking how many views the video has, that's fine. The point, the point of this being, I am gonna make some videos. I think, I think that's it. Okay, bye. I made a couple minor modifications. Okay, here it is, we got phone, light, camera. All for 24 dollars